The incredible renovation of our historic watermill ruin here in Portugal began with the most intimidating project of all, demolishing the leaky wooden roof that had been built 10 years prior and rebuilding it along with these wooden tree trunk columns using cement, which made this project more difficult, but the end results, which will be revealed in this episode, were made exceedingly more impressive, encouraging, and ultimately more fireproof than ever before. Whoa, you look like an angel. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, we're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married, moved into a van, and have been chasing adventures all around the globe ever since. And now, after moving from the USA to Portugal, we'll be documenting our entire journey of building our dreams as we transform a historic water mill into our first home, not on wheels. Join us as we embark on this new and exciting phase of life. Now, Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. Let the adventure begin. Hey, are you done with yoga? I am now. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. Oh, gotta get doing my yoga earlier. And folding the laundry. And feeding the cats. <laughs> I need my shoes. We got an automatic water feeder. It's not really automatic, but it holds 11 liters. So we hope that cats will be happy with this and not have to worry about filling this up all the time. Our cats drink about a liter of water a day between the three of them. So I'm like constantly filling it. This'll help us at least not have to fill in so often. We drink a lot of water around here between the two of us, so I guess the cats are watching and taking us as an example. Yep, like mommy and daddy. <laughs> Ooh, wanna make sure to grab their favorite Ukrainian candies for our roofers. Those are kind of my favorite too. I know, they're delicious. Oh, and I gotta take them drinking water. Gotta keep everybody hydrated around here. Water from the spring. It's the best. Side note, when we lived in LA for almost five years before becoming nomads, we were told that the drinking water there had went through 17 people's bodies who drank it and mm -hmm. obviously put it in the sanitary system. It would get purified and cleaned. But to think about that, and that was back in 2015. They sort of called it like a chemical and human tea. Cocktail? So, yeah. I just have to say that's why we are so grateful to have spring water available on our property. Because our land and water mill is situated in an ecological preserve, the water from our lagoon and stream is to be primarily used for agricultura. Although we've been able to use it for cement mixing. Remember, this entire phase of the project is being done off grid. But luckily, the previous owners of the mill left us a 5,500 watt generator to use. But ultimately, we are required to have a well dug for household use, which we're very grateful to already have the license and permit for, since this is something they are strictly starting to limit here in the Algarve. With water and treats in hand, we approached the mill to see what was up first for our amazing team of Ukrainian builders as they headed for the finish line for what felt like our massive roof project. He was just noticing that he's putting the first line of tiles up. Yeah, he was measuring very carefully where to set those because you gotta set the first ones right so the rest line up perfectly. Wow. I have a feeling today is going to be quite a long day. Yeah, plus the trim job too. I mean, they gotta yeah. cake cement over the That's ends of true. all these caps here. What's amazing is that they are reusing the tiles that were on the roof before too. That's a lot of stacks of tiles. We know what it's like just to move some of them. Luckily they got a team. Of strong guys. Hey guys, 
So we just received a package that we are so stoked about and we wish that we had received it before because it would have really helped out our workers down there. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Wow. Wow, look at that. It's our portable refrigerator from Bouge RV and it has this battery here. So we could have left this fridge for our workers down at the mill the whole time. Wouldn't they have loved that as a treat, but we just got it. So we're going to put to use because our fridge is actually really chuck full and we've been having freezer problems. So we're going to defrost our fridge eventually. The hinge is broken and it's always melting. Ugh, it's a mess in here. I'm constantly cleaning up our fridge. Some of you might remember when we installed our Bouge RV solar panels on top of Aspiri 2. Well, Bouge RV also makes portable refrigerators, portable power stations, and so many other accessories to just help you live your best outdoor life. We love fridges that open from the top because they tend to stay cooler a lot better. Look at that. It's got a big divider so you could keep drinks and food on separate sides. You can take it out and do it all. Oh, and then in here, I bet this is where, yep, this is where the power bank goes. That's right. Got a cord that plugs in right down here. Push it in like that. I just love how this battery pack sits in here. You could even use it for a cubby if you were charging the battery and didn't have it in here and just running it off plugged into your vehicle. Yeah, you could put like crackers. <laughs> There's a light, a spot for tie downs, and they even have a bottle opener. And look right here. It's got a really nice digital display. Ooh, that's oh, one of my favorite parts. You got to take off the sticker. <laughs> Anyways, it shows the battery level here, the voltage, the temperature. But let's turn it down and see how low it goes. All right, negative eight Fahrenheit. That's amazing. That is great. And it doubles over as a bench when you're camping. <laughs> but right now, using our link below and our code ADVENTURE27, you can get 27% off the 30 quart fridge. Or using the code ADVENTURE25, you can get 25% off the fridge and portable battery bank combo. And our roof workers will be especially happy because now we'll have a little bit more room to put some cold drinks in for them too. They laid out tile pile after tile pile, being especially careful when lining up the front tiles. Right here, you can see Igor is fishing up the plank of wood they use as a leveler for the front row, since they're the ones that determine the uniformity of the entire roof. And if you look carefully, you can also see the string guideline set just at the tip of all of their noses. I mean, tiles. <laughs> Then there's the cutting of the terracotta clay tiles that either needed sized to fit around the skylights or along the top edge of the roof, each of which was done by hand, of course. Again, grateful for the generator that helped make this possible for our crew. Otherwise, we might have been the ones chiseling away with hand tools. Something else we haven't showed you guys, let me just make my way up here, is the fact that up here in our theater room, we have these big openings and they're going to be putting glass block to let light in. Because we couldn't fit two of the larger glass blocks in the space, we decided to use two different sizes to maximize the amount of light that would be let into the room. Because the original transoms and wood roof that were used sat a little bit lower, which you can see by the holes in the perimeter of the wall up top, this new cement roof is a bit taller, which meant the windows couldn't be as tall and we have to use some shorter blocks. These were actually the window frames that were up in that section where I showed you they're going to be putting those glass cubes.
Got all the boxes for the windows down here now. And look at this. These are the instructions to install the skylight. They got these installed, wow. Look at that. Super cool to see. And here's the whole kit. The channel that allows the water to be kept from going into the window itself. It's one of the layers of protection. There's a whole system that's built around the perimeter of the window. Having our skylights installed felt like the icing on top of the cake, but this cake still had a lot of surprises left inside. Looks like the pastries were a big hit, along with the coffee. Oh, that makes us happy. Something else we haven't explained is that from where he's working to over here, they're going to build us a new section of the roof. Like this. Underneath where they're putting that new roof is actually the water slide, where the cistern held the water that then shot down and spun the wheel that then turned the stones and made corn flour. This is the massive chamber that's underneath the house where the turbine used to be for the water mill. They would run the water from up high from a cistern down through a chute, turn that wheel that would turn the mechanism that's in the house. So this is needing of some type of covering because we're gonna have leakage problems otherwise. Before these guys showed up, we didn't know what to do about this section here, but a good solid roof to help shield the leaky area down below was the best solution we had heard. And eventually we'll seal our walls with lime or adobe and that all will help too. But the trickiest thing for them here was making sure that they got the slope of this little roof addition right. Otherwise, the water could flow towards the external wall, causing internal leakage. But they measured and triple-checked and checked the level extra good, and in the end, I don't think we could have imagined a better outcome ourselves. Look at this little nook. Você é um artista. Sim, sim. Com semente. Esta vida é artista. Sim. Preciso de brincadeira e esta vida muito bem. Oh, muito bem. He's been doing all the special effects on the trim over on the sides of the house as well as up here on the ceramics. And we couldn't be happier. He's doing it. Muito obrigado, senhor. Wow, look how he uses the plank of wood to make sure the bottom is nice and flat. Yeah, they bent little bits of rebar to make hooks wow. to fold it so it's clamped just right like that. Very cool. Really beautiful work. We noticed that he was the one member of the team that they reserved all of the finishing work for. From the smooth edges of the roof, the beautifully finished walls, the underhang, while others would chip away and give him a good foundation to work from. What a team. Tom, are you resting? <laughs> he looks pretty happy under there. Good morning, Minu. My pretty girl. Where's your tongue stuck? I love that little tongue look. <laughs> you just get stuck out there. Minu. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's so cute. A little one-eyed miracle. Aww. We love you. So cute. It's been quite a while since we've used the chainsaw around here and a lot of you guys as you've been watching the project of the roof getting replaced have been asking us what we are going to do with the beautiful trees that were the pillars in there and today we are actually going to have to cut them into sections, discard the sections that are eaten by the rats, keep the beautiful sections and they'll be used for future projects. We think we might use them for a picnic table, maybe some shelving, a bench. So we're really excited to get to that, but not now. We're just gonna keep the wood in a safe place where it can stay dry and use it in the future. <laughs> I got a 
say. It makes me feel pretty emotional and sad to see those beautiful tree trunks being cut up. You know, they're hundreds of years old, so beautiful, and the amount of effort and strength and intention that it must have taken to place both of those tree trunks inside of the mill, but we are rebuilding the mill for resilience and strength for all of time, so at least there's that. We know that we're doing this for a good purpose and whatever we are able to reuse the really good pieces of that wood for in the future, we will always remember. I thought I'd show you guys the bottom of this one. This is probably the worst that we've seen. I mean, look, I can put my hand way down in there. That's pretty gnarly. I thought it'd be a really nice like table base like we talked about. And when Vlad was helping me out and we flipped it over, this like gross, fur stuff in there. Ew. Yeah, I'm surprised the rat's not in here. Ew. It looks like laundry lint though. Basically the thing had eaten <gasps> its way all in it here. Up? It's like moist down in there. Ew. Well, we don't have to worry about that with these shiny. You should seriously see what's happening with the lighting here. Oh, it's beautiful. Whoa. We have angels coming in through those skylights. Guys, what's going on? <gasps> Dude, that's our mill. That's our living room. Wow. <laughs> wow. In 18 years, it's his first time. So <laughs> nosh. Of course. We never were very square, I guess. Just like the cork, look at that, look at the sleeve inside there. I'm glad just said it's like the cork harvesting. Yeah, it's true. Whether they're made of trees or hand poured cement, there's something very special about these support columns and their prominent placement right in the middle of our very favorite room. Wow. Oh, it's so shiny. Yeah. Wow. So shiny like marble. It's beautiful. The rocks in You know, could you imagine? Like varnish, like resin? No, exacto is tipo de nomi? Shizad. 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 Yeah, uh, straight blade. See, I'm learning Portuguese and Ukrainian today. I love it. Faca, normal, uma faca para pão. Okay. É uma faca. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful her fur is. Oh, it is. It's so beautiful. Minu. Oh, <laughs> we got the whole family. We're so lucky. Kitties. You're so happy. You're so handsome. There you are. There you are. <laughs> are you ready for this? I'm ready. It's the moment we've been waiting for. The big reveal. I'm gonna see our entire roof finished. I can't wait to see it. Although we did see it last night. We just We haven't seen it in full daylight yet. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at how amazing this is. They did such wonderful, smooth finishing work. Yesterday we had one of our good friends over who actually used to be a firefighter and he told us that they did an excellent job for preventing fires from entering in the house with the way they did this cement on this edge as well as underneath filling in all the gaps under the ceramic so that way flames or any type of embers if there was to yeah. be a fire couldn't enter in the house. It is like perfectly 
beautifully yeah. sealed also for water purposes and oh, the windows i can't wait to see the windows i know i'm excited to open them for oh. the first time because they tilt me too Brittany loved this bridge so much and they've been cleaning up around here that she said don't let them take down the little yeah, bridge this is our only way to access whatever this is going to become and it's a great way to repurpose the main beam that went across the entire length of the old mill so it created a bridge into a new room so know what this is going to become do you guys have any thoughts or any ideas let us know in the comments yeah let us know once we get you know the adobe or the lime however we're gonna refinish these walls it's gonna look really nice in here it'd be a nice little reading nook it's got a great view out yeah it does to the top <laughs> let it climb this little corner it's like a jungle gym around here Ooh, i love the edge work that's so nice one of the guys who was part of the crew he is like the master cement finisher, you know? He was doing all of the finishing work because as you can tell, he is really good at it. It's really straight. Wow. Wow. And to think of all the layers ooh, that are underneath these tiles now, between the bricks and the cement and the rebar, it is strong. And that little wall that they built out, so now, you know, the whole front of the house is extends the whole width you know of length width the width I'm trying to say. <laughs> from there all the way to there yeah because before it ended funnily and there was that weird little section now it all makes more sense before after before there was this funny little notch and the leaking problem that we had and now the roof extends as far out as well it should and hopefully there won't be a leaking problem anymore to be continued and our skylights they look wonderful. And this weather seal, it looks like really, really tough. And these were the largest skylights we could actually have installed. They're 78 centimeters width by 118 in length. There's but curtain. there's a curtain which you can slide across here. And this is the third skylight that we were really excited to add to our plans because it's gonna add some really useful light to the kitchen. So glad we made that addition. And I can imagine all kinds of good smells swifting Ooh. up into the air from this section of the house. Yes, the things we have to look forward to. One more thing I want to say while we're up here is that we need to pressure wash this roof. It's just got a little bit of, you know, cement and residue. You know, it was what, 10 years old, these tiles or so? Probably more than that. Yeah, I'm so glad we were able to reuse them. Yeah. That was a huge cost saver, a huge, you know, environmentally, a, a sound choice. Decision. To make. Yeah. You can actually see a lot of these are the old ones that have some little spots and stuff on them. Here's a brand new one. One other thing that wasn't here before is the end of the roof ended about here where this wall ends. So now we have a lip overhanging that allows the rain to be pushed out and not dripping down the walls and ending up on our windows when they're open and the uh, boards are out. Yeah, they were really conscious about that. Let's go inside. And here we are. Bringing in a ladder to show you guys how the windows open. You look really small in here. Can I just say that? Like with the giant millstone and the giant columns and the, the giant big ladder. room yeah the giant ladder wow we're gonna have to make a really cool ladder or like long arm to you reach like one of those really long sticks where you pull the trigger and somehow we can open the handle and Skylight. You guys know that in all of the vans that we have owned, we have always had a roof hatch. So it was only natural that in our first home, not on wheels, Drew and I would have, well, three roof hatches. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Cool. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of dust down there. <laughs> Might need a shower tonight. <laughs> wow, it totally inverts. That's amazing. Yeah, like that. Just a nice little balance. That's a breath of fresh air. I feel like a little gopher sticking my head out of the gopher <laughs> hole, catching some fresh, some fresh air and taking a deep breath. <laughs> it's your turn to take a look up there. Oh, that's a fun idea. Oh, I'm excited. Whoa, you look like an angel. <laughs> Climbing to the heavens. 
Look at her go. I can't reach the bar. You can't reach it? No. Go up one more step. Mm. Almost. There you go. Oh. Isn't that cool? Well, that's pretty easy. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, you don't have to invert. Oh, yeah. Look at all the dust falling. At least you're on the good side of it. I got lucky. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. Cool. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> when we're ready for all the finishing touches of the lime, or adobe, however we decide to finish off the walls of the mill in here. That's when all of this will really get nice and smooth and finished. But for now, you can just see the raw inner workings, wow, of this special place. Oh, and you'll be happy to see that we kept the good parts of the old stone oak trees that were the previous support pillars that we had to remove. We kept the parts that weren't like eaten by the rats or affected by termites for a future something. Little something something. Are you filming for our patrons? Brittany taking a final look at our sky windows. They're in and we are thrilled with how this project has progressed. Very exciting. <laughs> Doesn't Brittany kind of look like an angel up there? <laughs> Glowing from the heavens. Oh. <laughs> That's fun. I love this room. I love our water mill. We love you guys. We're so grateful for the team that helped us get the water mill to the state that it's at now. Like thinking about it, this actually all happened relatively fast. This was a huge part of the project that was really intimidating, overwhelming. And we just needed the right group of guys to help us do this. So to Vladimir and the team, our team of Ukrainian workers who helped us really get this job done, Diako, you. I love the people we get to interact with because yeah. of this project and I just love the cultural experience. This part of Portugal has people from all parts of the world living in it and not just the people who live here but the workers, just the Portuguese, everyone involved. So it yeah. just for us it means so much to be able to even call this place home. So Diako, you obrigado, obrigado. Yeah. Obrigado nos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's still the roof on the turret that we have like some really fun creative ideas for. So the roof work isn't totally done. Our team will be back again, so you will be yeah. seeing all of their smiling faces again. So stick around as we continue the transformation of this beautiful water mill and share it with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. We'll yes. see you guys next video. Thank you. Uh -huh.